good evening guys uh, in yesterday's session we started looping statements and we discussed about the for loop and how the for loop iteration process works and all we seen yesterday now i want to discuss about some more examples regarding for loop some more examples in the sense like uh, how to generate prime numbers how to generate fibonacci series uh, how to find even numbers how to find odd, odd numbers between uh, between the range of how to get the multiples of how to print the tables like this uh, uh, strings and polynomials string length and how can we reverse a string so these are all the logics we are going to see by using for loop guys remember one thing if you can able to understand for loop the remaining loops are going to be very easy while and do while also going to be the same process what we can do by using for loop the same i can implement by using while and do while as well but little bit dif difference is there that we can discuss in later guys first let us see some examples regarding for loop uh, first of all let us print uh, uh, one to 10 numbers by using for loop one to 10 numbers my requirement is here one to 10 so what is our starting point my starting point is one and my ending point is 10 so we know yesterday we seen the for loop syntax and what is the syntax of for loop initialization nothing but wait to start the loop i have to start the loop where i equal to one with one i have to start and condition what is your condition where you have to end the loop so i have to iterate this loop 10 times so i less than or equal to 10 exactly 10 times i have to iterate the list loop and i have to increment for every iteration so how many times the loop is going to be iterated here 10 times so 10 times i'm incrementing the loop because my requirement is 1 to 10 1 to 10 in a sense it is incrementing 1 2 3 4 this is incrementation if you want we can go for decrementation as well first let us print it this already we seen yesterday anyhow let us go with the same here let us print document dot write so i so if you can run this file so we can see the output of it or else you can go sorry, save the file and run it and you can check the output as if you can refresh it the output will be one two ten so by default they are coming horizontally if you want to see them into vertically you can add the break tag so the i is a variable here and we have to add break tag so i have to append this with a concatenation of so break is a string and i is a variable how we can join a variable and a string by using concatenation operator what is a concatenation operator in javascript that is plus now you can check it now we can see the numbers one to ten in vertical order now we are able to see one to ten numbers so how this loop iteration and all yesterday we seen the same in a diagrammatic manner right now i want to print so 10 to 1 numbers this is what the logic will turn for one to ten numbers we seen now i want to print 10 to 1 so now this is going to be descending order 10 to 1 in a sense so, so um, remember carefully when you are writing a loop first try to understand the requirement what is the requirement here 10 to 1 now i want to print 10 to 1 earlier we seen 1 to 10 numbers now i want to print 10 to 1 let's see how we can print it. so go with for loop here for initialization ah what is your starting point here my starting point is 10 so i have to start from so 10 so i less than or equal to 1 less than or greater than it should be greater than or equal to and i plus plus so not i plus plus actually it should be i minus minus we have to decrement one value for every iteration right so this is what exactly the thing so now you can open and check it carefully here you can just write a document dot write and print it so what is going to happen here so i is going to be a yes, we can write concatenation operator as well so plus with break tag so i want to display them one by one vertically so nothing but now you can see the requirement will be 10 so like this we can uh display the numbers whatever the range you want so you can take a very big range and very small range i want to print one two thousand numbers and one to one lakh numbers simply the number is going to for example if you want to print one to one lakh numbers then the range should be increased here so simply you can come here and you can increase the value one to one lakh numbers now loop is going to be iterated one to one lakh times so within two or three seconds maybe a fraction of seconds the loop is going to be iterated one to one lakh numbers but if i ask you to write without using any loop is it easy right. it is too tough for us definitely there is a process called loop it will repeat the job so until the condition is going to be false guys here now i want to print uh, 1 to 10 numbers but in between that 1 to 10 i want to see the even numbers 
right? How to get the even numbers between the range of one to 10 numbers? How to get the odd numbers between one and 10, right? So let us write a logic here. First of all, before writing this logic, how can we say a number is even or a number is odd? By simply, if the number is divided by two and if you got remainder zero and that is an even number, if you got the remainder one, that is called odd number. Simply, this logic I am going to apply by using for loop. So first, let me print one to 10 numbers. Always I will start with one to 10. So in the middle, I will add logic. Let us see where I equal to one. I less than or equal to 10. I plus plus. Here, just I'm not doing anything here. Just I'm printing as usual, document dot write. Just to print variable i. And you can, if you want, you can use concatenation operator appending like the action by using concatenation operator. Now you can refresh. So earlier, what is the output we see? The same we can get it here. One, two, the numbers. Now I want to display the even numbers. What are the even numbers we know? Two, four, six, eight, ten. These are the even numbers. One, three, five, seven, nine are the odd numbers. I want to display even numbers, but I want to display odd numbers. But this guys, we we how to say a number is even. So how can we say a number is even if it is divided by two remainder zero? Now how we will write this condition here? So anyhow, every time loop going, i value is going to be incremented. I, what is i value here? Ten times it has to repeat. So i value one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But in this ten iterations, so what is the even number? What is the odd number? Now let us say I'm writing i value is modulo division of two equal to equal to zero. So I'm comparing every time I value. So for, for example, right now I first iteration I value one. One by two is equal to equal to zero. No. Now I value incremented and it is a two now. I plus one two. I mean one plus one two and two by two is equal to equal to zero. Then I have to print it now. So if it is even, I have to print it simply. This is my condition that I'm going to write twice. Now this is going to print only even numbers. Can you see now? This is my even numbers. Two, four, six, eight, ten. What is going to happen here? If the uh, for example, I value one now. First iteration for a first iteration, I value one. One by two is equal to equal to zero. No. Second iteration, I value will be two. Two by two equal to equal to zero. Definitely is zero. Condition true, and the block of code will be executed at that time. What is the I value here? I value is two here. Now uh, again, I value incremented two plus one. It will be three now. Three by two equal to equal to zero. No. So if it is a false, definitely the block of code is not going to be executed immediately. From here, it will go for Three plus one, four now, I value four. Four by two equal to equal to zero, S is equal to zero. Condition true, then block of will be executed at the time. What is the I value? It is four. So like this, it is going to be iterated 10 times. Now can you see the same variable to see? So two, four, six, eight, ten are the even numbers. Now I want to display odd numbers. Huh? How can you say number is odd here? Nothing as simply in place of the zero, if you can write one, I mean divided by two remainder one. So then that is odd number, right? Simply, now you can check it, nothing to write here. You can see the odd numbers between one and 10. Or else you can take a specific range, whatever the range you want, you can take a specific range. For example, I want to take from 11 to 20, whatever the range you want. So what is the range here? My starting point is 11 and ending point is 20. So here also loop is going to be treated 10 times. And in between that, we will get the odd numbers. These are all the odd numbers in between the given range values. Like this, we can check this. Not only, see, here, logic in the sense, different, different people may write the different, different logics. You can also write one logic. I can also write one logic. But output is same. Your logic may be different. This is what? Don't think logic means always same. See, the same iteration I can do in another manner also. Right? So here, I write, a, I write a condition here. Let me remove the condition. Now, if I execute this, what is my output here? Definitely, can you say, guys, what is my output here? So nothing, it is going to print 11 to 20. So can you see, this is 11 to 20. Now I want to get the odd numbers, or even numbers. So for this, what I want to do here, you know, simply, can you see here, I, or else you can take i equal to one, right? i less than or equal to 10. So initially we, we went like this, right? So in the same manner, i equal to, can you see here, i plus one, I'm making like this. Uh, I plus two you can write by default. I equal what is the C here? We know yesterday we seen I equal to I plus one. What is the meaning of it? This is nothing but I plus plus, right? So this is what I plus plus. So if you write I plus plus, it is going to be add plus one. But what I am doing here, 
i equal to i plus 2 for every iteration i am adding plus 2 but earlier for every iteration we just added only one now for every iteration we are adding two now this is one so one printed after that it is going to be for incrementation so what is i value one plus two three now it will be ordered with three three less than or equal to ten like this it is going to be prints the all numbers earlier we write a condition inside a loop that's also working and this is also working so what i want to say logic means don't think it is always fixed so different people may write different logic so we have to think in different manner while you guys different dif while you guys are practicing try with the different different scenarios so you will get more ideas guys this is what i want to say simply now you can take it as a two now if we if you start a loop iteration with the two now so this is going to be two plus two four four plus two six uh, five plus uh, six plus two eight now you can say simply the logic is going to print the uh, even numbers Earlier, we write a condition to print odd number and even number. Now, the same we are working with. So, how we are working with without writing any condition, just we are incrementing the values here. For example, you want to get the multiples of 5. How can I get the multiples of 5? The same for every time you are incrementing plus 2 here. Now, I want to increment plus 5. That's the only thing. Let us see how, the, how I can get the multiples of 5. 5 to 50. I want to display with 5 to 50. Simply, where i equal to 5 i less than or equal to 50 so i want to go 50 but here i am writing i equal to i plus 5 this is what i am writing for every iteration what i am doing here i am incrementing plus 5 so initially what is the value of i here this is 5 so once 5 is printed so it is going to check guys here 5 less than or equal to 50 condition true if condition is true immediately the block output is going to be executed here what i am doing simply let us print the number here document dot write Dot right of i. Then what is going to happen, guys? Now i value will be printed. How five? So five less than or equal to fifty. Condition true. I value printed five. So it is going to be here five plus five ten. So i value orders ten now. So ten less than or equal to fifty. Condition true. It will printed. So ten is going to be printed. It will be here ten plus five. It will be orders fifty now. Like this, the loop is going to be printed up to so fifty or fifty five. So now it is going to be uh, 5. Now you can check it. It is going to be the multiples of 5. And what is this, guys? 50. Are we getting correct output? Let me check it. Or, I mean, let me give the break tag so that we can see exactly the correct output. So now you can see the multiples of 5. Like this, you want to take anything? Yes, we can print it, guys. OK, so like this, we can write the logic. Now, I want to print one more thing. I want to print the tables. We know already tables, right? Two, second table, third table, fourth table. We feel some of the tables are difficult, right? So let us write them programmatically. So for example, I want to write a table because I feel table linking is very tough, right? Let's take a variable here where table equal to 19. I want to print the 19th table. You want to print 17th table, then change the number. The loop should iterate the 17th table. Guys, my output should look like this. 19 into 1 is equal to 19. In the same manner, 19 into 2 equal to 38. And so on, so on. We have to get 19 into 10, 190. Something like this, guys. 19 into n equal to 190 this is what i want to see guys this type of output i want to see so let us write a loop to print this logic uh, in the same manner we can print uh, now we are going to print one table later i want to print 2 to 20 tables and each and every table should be iterated 10 times 2 into 10 2 into 1 2 2 into 3 4 so 2 into 3 6 like this 2 into 10 20 Our table 3 into 1 3 and something like this guys this is what we want to display how we are going to see and uh, let's check it guys here The 19th table, I'm going to write the logic here. Right. Can you see? I'm going to the for loop here for where i equal to 0. Sorry, i equal to 1 because I, uh, 19 into 1, 19 into 2, right? So I have to start from so this is i less than or equal to 10 and i plus plus. This is I want to write this guys here. I plus plus. Now simply you can come to the loop and just print table into i. So if you can print it, what is your output, guys? Table into i. Just I'm printing the i value. But table is fixed at 19, 19 into 1. 
I value is going to be incremented in the second time through part time three, like this uh, multiple to soft maintain you will get here. So let's print it, document it out right. Now you can see. Okay, you, you can add a break tag also by concatenating. Now you can see the output of it. We can see the multiples of 19. Can you see? These are the multiples of 19. But what is the output I shown you? I expected a kind of output. We have to bring that output, guys, by using concatenation operators. Can you see here how I am going to achieve this table? Here I can use plus plus because I want to use star symbol here. Star symbol I am keeping into a string so that before the string, after the string, it should be concatenated. In the same manner, I have to go with the variable color i. This is what I have to keep here equal to symbol. Now you can see the output will be like this. So what is the output? You, this is the output we expect, right? 19 into 1, 19 into 2, 19 into 3. This is just I used the star symbol and equal to symbol. I just used a concatenation operator. So star I kept into a string and equal to also I kept into a string. Otherwise, if you are not keeping them into uh, the symbols simply, if you just went like this, then what is the problem here? 19 into 19. Then it is going to be 19 equal to 19 and uh, something like this. The output will be like this. 19 equal to 19. This is not uh, the output I expected. I'm expecting an output. This is what exactly. So let's roll back the same. Now you can check it. So this is the output we are expecting. This is what just we are printing only one table. Now I want to print all the tables. What is the table you want to print here by using this logic? For example, now I printed 19 table. You can change this as a 17. Now it is going to be printed the 17th table here. Now you can go with the 99 table. So we don't know 99 manipulation here. Just check it. So we're getting the 99 table. Now I want to print all the tables. All the tables in the sense from 2 to 20 tables I want to print. So let us write a logic to print 2 to 20. Now my requirement, observe my requirement carefully. I want to print all the tables from 2 to 20. This is what I want to do. So what is your requirement? What is this logic is doing? First tell me, this logic is printing only one table. That's it. I want to print all the tables from 2 to 20. So how can we print this? Let us write first. The requirement is I want to print 2 to 20. Okay. Let us write a for loop here. Again, I am writing for where j equal to 2. I have, what is my requirement here? 2 to 20. So my initial point is 2. j less than or equal to 20. And this is going to be j plus plus. That's it, guys. Now, if you can print j value, what is your output here? Documented dot write. Documented dot write j. Just I'm printing j value. Can you see what's my output here? It is going to be print 2 to 20. Can you see 2, 3, 4, 2 up to 20 is printed. If you want to see vertically, we know the right side. Right? We have to use break tag just here by concatenating the variable with the variable. Now you can refresh it, you can see. My, I'm getting 2 to 20, but I want to get 2 to 20 tables. I don't want to see the 2 to 20 numbers here, right? What I want to do here, what is this logic is doing? Can you see this logic is printing one table, right? Now, what I want to do, you know, I just want to keep the same logic inside this for loop, guys. That's it. Let me keep the same logic here. I'm going to remove this. Let me read the logic here. What is a one table logic? This is one table logic. Can you see? What this logic will do by default, this internal logic will print one table. Now, what the what is this outer loop is doing? It is printing two to twenty. Guys, can you see what is the table value ninety nine I given? So now, just I am making this as a j. What is the j value? J value two two less than or equal to twenty. Condition true. Immediately it will go for the inner block. So now, table equal to two and second table will be printed. After printing all the second table, it will go for two plus one. It will be three. Now it is going to already. Be Three less than or equal to 20, condition true. You will come here, j value now 3, and third table printed 3 to 10. So now again, 3 plus 1, 4. Now 4, j equal to 4 now. 4 is 4 less than or equal to 20, condition true. Now j value is 4. Fourth table will be printed like this, guys. This is going to be iterated. Okay, let me show you here. Can you see what is the output you are expecting? So this is 2 to 20, and third table. If you want, you can use separator of printing every table. Documented out right. I just want to use one separator after printing the each and every table. So let us use an equal to symbol something like this a line. Just I'm using. So now you can see what is the output guys here. Now each and every table separated with the line. Right now, can you see here? 
So third table, fourth table, fifth table, like this, we can go and we can see two to 20 tables like this. Also, we can print, we can write loop inside a loop also. We can write loop inside a condition also, or inside a condition, we can write a loop as well. Like this. this is how we can use looping statements to print the logic, such a kind of logic. In the next session, we are going to discuss about some other logics like prime number generation, Fibonacci series, string reversing, finding the string length, and all we are going to see, guys. Thank you. And if you have any doubts, please comment under the video section. Thank you, guys.